uh, yeah. you know, keep you up late. Mm -hmm. That's all. Yeah. All right. This young lady is an MMA fighter. Juju Eau Claire is in studio with us. She'll talk about her big fight coming up at the show. playing Juju on that beat because <laughs> you know that song, don't you? Juju? Yes, I do. <laughs> Juju Eau Claire is here. She is from Brighton by way of, of San Francisco, but you are an MMA fighter. And when you walked in, I said, wow, <laughs> that girl fights MMA? Why? Um, I think as, especially as a female, going into a cage knowing somebody wants to hurt you and knowing that I can defend myself and you potentially cause some harm as well, it gives you a lot of confidence. And um, I don't know, I... I've always liked watching UFC, and so I decided to give it a go. I know it's going to sound like a weird question, but good nonetheless. I have to say it this way because it emphasizes what I want to emphasize. Mm -hmm. You're comfortable smashing another woman in the face. I got to be. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's going to do it to me first, so I got to get on her first. <laughs> Talk about the process of MMA fighting because I'm familiar with boxing, but sure. MMA is something different. It's yes. mixed martial arts mm -hmm. for a reason. You're up boxing, you're down on the floor grappling, it's wrestling, it's a mix of everything. Everything, yep. Ta tell us the disciplines that you've learned and how long your career has been very short, but how much do you know? Um, I started boxing and then I went into MMA. I knew that's what I wanted to do, but at mm -hmm. the time I didn't have a place where I can train MMA. So I think that my stand-up is probably my strongest point, but of course I had to learn to wrestle and do uh, some jujitsu, mm -hmm. grappling stuff. Uh, she says her stand-up, and you mean stand-up boxing is your boxing, strongest. Boxing, kickboxing, yep. Now who are you fighting this weekend? I'm fighting Larkin Dash. She's uh, undefeated 5-0. Did you do your due diligence on her? You, you check her out? Yes, I did. I watched her. Um, I studied her film. My coaches and I sat down. We This is a last minute fight. She took the fight, I mm -hmm. believe, on Monday and it's happening tomorrow, Saturday. So All right. we didn't have too much time. Well, you see, it's fight night at the Joe, you guys. It takes place tomorrow night. That is Saturday night at the Joe Lewis Arena. Mixed martial arts fighter. It's Juju Eau Claire. She's representing Michigan, representing Brighton. Give a shout out to where you, where you work out and talk about what kind of discipline it takes. What's your workout like? Uh, scorpion fighting system. Scorpion. We're in there. Yep, scorpion. And we're in there almost um, six days a week. I mm -hmm. do morning sessions, night sessions. Um, it's a lot of hard work. You got to watch your diet. You got to watch, you know, everything. Mm -hmm. um, but if you love it, you're going to find a way to make it work. Many, m many, many things, many, many years ago, things changed for me mm -hmm. uh, when I was trying to box. And as soon as I got hit directly in the jaw, everything changed. Yeah. When you got punched right in the, gr the grill, in the face, mm -hmm. for the first time, what was your reaction and how do you respond to that? That's funny because my dad, when I first told him I wanted to start this, he told me, he was like, when the first time you get popped in the face, you're going to quit. That's what he told everybody me. says and, that. Um, and it's true about a lot of fighters. But, you know, I got popped in the face for the first time, and my instinct, my kill switch went on, and uh -huh. I went crazy, and I, it was one of my first times sparring, and um, it didn't stop me. I'm still doing it. That's the key. That's how you know a real fighter. Yep. When you get hit in the face <laughs> for real, and you come back, then you need to focus that aggression to a win. Absolutely. All right. What do you want people to know when they come to watch you fight tomorrow at the Joe? You know, don't count me out. This is my debut fight. I'm going up against a tough 5-0 and girl. Mm -hmm. um, she's undefeated, like I said, and I've only been at it for a short while, but I've been working really hard, so I hope you guys come out and watch. All right, Juju, thanks for the time. Thank you so and much. We Appreciate it. We will Juju it. on that beat when you Juju win. Juju on that beat. All right. <laughs> All right. Juju Eau Claire fighting at the Joe tomorrow. That Saturday night. Tickets are still available through Olympia Entertainment. Valentine's Day talk is next. Uh, we're not just talking, Lee Thomas. We're doing. Uh, we are going to, with, with some help from our friends at Joann's, we are going to make, look at this beautiful uh, little mason jar that turned into a piece of art. So we're going to show you how to make these. And I think you guys are coming over. We're going to see, we know Juju can throw a punch, but can she make this? <laughs> we'll find out. Welcome back to The Nine. You know, Valentine's Day is not that far away. So we are here to show you how you can make, you can get the kids involved and actually make something that's very memorable. And we invited Juju, our MMA fighter, to show her softer side. That's right, that's right. <laughs> and this is Amanda from Joann's. Yes. Uh, <laughs>
from the one up in Auburn Hills. It is, yes. yes um, so we just have some really easy, simple crafts for Valentine's Day. We made a wreath out of these um, birch rounds that you can purchase at our store for $4.99 a piece. And you just hot glue them together and I put some foam core on the back and then you just paper punch some things to um, add a little more decoration, but Cute, rustic yeah. is all in What's right now. What's the thing behind the cork though? The, like the, the um, this is foam core board okay, that it. I just cut a strip of to help stabilize it a little bit. Oh, gotcha. All right. And then you can just put it on a wreath hanger or on a plate stand. All right. What are we doing here? We are making glitter mason jars. So glitter, you know, can get everywhere, but it yes. really adds a lot of um, brightness to a home. So we are going to use our um, Eileen's Tacky Glue. It's great. It dries really fast and clear. So you all have a paintbrush. You're going to dip it into the glue. You guys can, can share, share there. And you're just going to go on the outside. On the side? outside, you're okay. going to paint a thin layer, and we hot glued a heart on the outside, so you can actually peel that off really easy after this dries. So put the glue on over the. Put the glue on around the heart, the all over the jar. All over the, the, heart. Heart. Over the jar. It's okay around right, the it. whole. That we're going to peel that heart off once the ooh, glue dries. I feel like it's all coming into one area and it's not spreading. Is that normal? You just got to use a lot of pressure. All right, well, okay. All right. You got to kind of There is force something it. so force nice it. about, we're, we're so tech saturated that there's something so um, good about just working with your hands, isn't it? Yeah, and like yeah, that's Dealing with glue, and that's why adult coloring, as, and I know you guys <laughs> totally experienced that at Joann's too, oh, right? Yes. All those coloring books, because people just like the feeling of... The tactile. Yeah, yeah. tactile, uh, putting, creating something with your hands. So once you get your layer on, you right. can paint the whole thing or just part of it part of it or whatever you, this is all yours. This is to make it your own style. You're going to take your glitter, which they've all been opened, so you're just going to turn the style okay. on the top. And I gave you guys these trays to try and keep it contained. <laughs> you know, That's um, funny. Glitter, <laughs> try to keep it contained. Uh, glitter good. gets everywhere. I know. So, I will not. So um, you'll go home and you'll find it later. It might be in your hair. It might be on your face. You won't yeah. really know. That's okay. We but like you can that. assure everyone it just happened on air. It's not anything, you know. <laughs> hey, Amanda, at my strange. house, you know what we're making every day almost? What? Slime. Oh, yeah. We are actually what is the deal with very the slime? low on glue because I of that. I know you are. It is very. <laughs> Very popular. I think I bought it all the other day. All right. So I didn't cover the heart. Do we want me to cover nope. the heart? Okay, nope. good. Got so it. you're going to take your, yeah, that looks great. Okay. You're going to take your glitter. All right. Here's this. And you're just going to shake it over it. And you're going to just coat that glue. And as you turn it, the extra glitter will fall off. All right. I'm going to use this color. So you kind of give you a yeah. plate to help catch so. some of that glitter so you can reuse it. Sure. Are, you, are you ever out somewhere and with a group and they say we need someone to defend us and they ask you to do it? <laughs> yeah, Especially, yeah, my, my roommate, and, roommate and I are both fighters, so. Oh boy. No one's going Wrong to mess, people no to mess with no. Yeah, exactly. Someone walks up to you and asks for your purse, you're like, excuse me, did you just try to rob me? Um, do you know I'm an MMA fighter? Right. Oh my Hold gosh. on. All right. all right, so this is looking not as bad as I thought. No, it doesn't look bad at all. I mean, not because it, I mean it's, I'm so bad at this kind and of And then thing. eventually, when do we peel the hot glued? Because uh, you could put any design, you right? Can you can put, put any a name. design. You can put a name. Oh, you can hot write glue. a word. You can do whatever. And you can actually peel that off whenever you want. It helps if you have like scissors or something sharp to kind of get underneath there. There's right. something really satisfying about just peeling glue off things, I know. too. I know, it's satisfying. It's like one of those sensory things. Yeah, you're seeing. right. Dina hit it right on the button there, talking about always being on the phone yes. and not feeling like a sense of... Plus, you got the smell of the glue. Yeah. <laughs> it's a fun gift idea, too, that. to make it It is. Yourself. And you what can do put we a do candle in. Like, you okay, can put a, a flameless candle, candle okay. in it. Wow. And it I'm really wrecking this thing. Kind of... <laughs> so here we go. Here's an idea. And then and then eventually you peel off... Your yes. hot glue right so here. So this one is peeled off. Well, yours came off so easily. I'm still peeling it off. Like I, I have nails. It helps. I know. It's true. So there we go. All right. Yeah. Nice. I mean, so the way for you. the glue to dry, it's a little bit easier. That's right. fun. That's a fun idea. Can we get a shot of this? Look how bad that is, guys. I did an <laughs> awful job. 
And I wasn't even trying to be funny. That's so bad. It's not bad. It's just because the glue didn't dry all the way. Yeah. <laughs> that's all. Is that what the problem is? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, we'll go with that. A more than three minutes to make sure. And thank you for bringing us your homemade fancy cookies. Oh, yes. Those are cake pops. So it's caramel cake with vanilla frosting. Very nice. Uh, coming up, we're going to talk about Thank what we're wearing so red man. today. Oh, it no is problem. go red for women. You're going to see a lot of red everywhere you look. So we're going to head into the kitchen and show you what foods, ladies, that we need to be eating more of, how it can be healthy and delicious at the same time. Thank you, Amanda. Thanks, Thanks. Thank Thank you. Thank Great you. job. Thank you.